It is Saturday night. I'm Walter Perez. The big story in action news is breaking news. A day long ordeal that spanned from Bucks County to Trenton, New Jersey has ended over the past hour. The suspect, 26 year old Andre Gordon, was held by police uh, in Trenton at bay, held police in Trenton at bay for more than five hours after he allegedly went on a killing spree in Bucks County. It all started when police say Gordon shot and killed three people at two separate locations in Levittown. He then allegedly carjacked an SUV at gunpoint and then police Police say he drove across the river into Trenton. That's where Gordon reportedly took hostages for a short period of time and barricaded himself inside a home. We have live team coverage tonight with Action News reporters Charles Watson and Brianna Smith. We begin with Charles in Trenton with more on this tense situation finally ending. Charles. Yeah, well, to that nearly six hour standoff has come to an end. The Trenton Police Department confirming 26 year old suspect Andre Gordon is now in police custody after surrendering to officers at a location different than the home on Phillips Avenue, where we saw officers focusing uh, much of their attention throughout the afternoon. Now, I want to roll some video so our viewers can get a sense of how tense the feeling was out here as law enforcement worked over several hours to pull possible hostages out of a home where they believed Gordon had barricaded himself. Trenton police tell us those folks were taken out safely in addition to neighbors who live in nearby homes. In fact, uh, we saw law enforcement bring out anywhere between 10 to 12 people from homes here on Phillips Avenue. Among that group, we saw at least one toddler and an officer bringing out what appeared to be an elderly woman who was draped over that officer's shoulder. Uh, now, it's unclear how Gordon ended up at another location, but it was clear police wanted to bring this barricade situation to a peaceful end. We saw FBI negotiators out here on the scene to assist in trying uh, to put an end to what was a fluid situation, but in the end, police say a tip led them to Gordon. Take a listen. Blocks away from this location where he was apprehended by a train police patrolman. Um, he was apprehended um, uninjured and without incident. You know, he'll, he'll go to the Trenton Police Department for processing here and he'll probably go to the county workhouse. Um, at some point, he will be extradited to uh, Pennsylvania to answer for those charges over there. But he's also going to be charged here as well. Now, police say they were drawn here to Trenton after learning that Gordon had connections to the area. Nearby investigators located the Honda HRV. They say Gordon carjacked from someone in Mooresville, Pennsylvania. Uh, this all after Gordon allegedly killed his stepmother, 52 year old Karen Gordon, and his 13 year old sister, Kara Gordon, at one location, and 25 year old Taylor Daniel, the mother of his children, at another location. All of this unfolding this morning in Falls Township, Bucks County. Now, the big question for investigators is what led Gordon uh, to commit these acts he's accused of? You can bet that uh, police uh, and investigators are going to be searching for those answers in the next uh, hours and coming days as they hope to get some answers here. We're live now in Trenton, Charles Watson, Channel 6, Action News, Walter. Okay, Charles, thank you. Once again, this all began in Bucks County this morning where the suspect allegedly shot and killed three people before crossing the Delaware River in a stolen vehicle. Action News reporter Brianna Smith joins us live in Falls Township with more on how the whole thing unfolded. Brianna. Yeah, Walter, just a tragic morning here in Levittown. It all started behind me on Viewpoint Lane. You can see the street is still blocked off so police can investigate and piece together why the suspect came here with an assault weapon to kill his stepmother and his sister and then the mother of his two children. Police cars and crime tape covered a section of Viewpoint Lane in Levittown Saturday morning as residents were told to shelter in place for about three hours. Sean Murphy was getting ready for the Bucks County St. Patrick's Day Parade when this happened. And I saw a um, whole bunch of cop cars racing up and down the street, and then I saw an ambulance come up to the street. Falls Township police say 26-year-old Andre Gordon Jr. drove a stolen vehicle from Trenton, New Jersey to Viewpoint Lane just before 9 a.m. That's where he broke into a home and shot his two relatives to death. His stepmother, 52-year-old Karen Gordon, and his sister, 13-year-old Kara Gordon. There were three other individuals at the residence, including a minor, inside the home who were able to hide and avoid being shot by Gordon as he went through the house searching for them. This video from a viewer shows Gordon escape to the silver car and drive away. Police say about 10 minutes later, Gordon arrived to Edgewood Lane and forced his way into another house. They say Gordon shot and killed 25-year-old Taylor Daniel, who is the mother of his two children, and they were home at the time. There were four other individuals present inside that home, one of which was injured after being bludgeoned 
by Gordon with the assault rifle. The district attorney is referring to Daniel's mother, and she's expected to be okay. Then around 9.15 a.m., Gordon carjacked a 44-year-old man in the Dollar General on Bristol Pike in Morrisville and fled without hurting him. Police found the vehicle in Gordon in Trenton, New Jersey. And it's just a shame that hearing of the folks that had passed away it seemed like it was kind of planned and, you know, um, that stuff doesn't happen around here. Again, police are still investigating, trying to determine a motive. In Falls Township, police say they've had minor contact with the suspect in the past, but nothing that would indicate he would do something like this. Also, court documents reveal he has traffic violations. Reporting live in Falls Township, Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News. Walter? Just tragic all the way around for sure. All right, thank you, Brianna.